What's up guys? If you don't know me, my name is Drew McCrory and I'm back here with another video today. Um, so I hope you guys liked the season of DM Games. Um, I, I personally, person, I can't even talk. I personally liked filming it and everything is really fun and, um, season two is coming in January or February this year, 2022. So, look forward to that, um, and all that is already in the planning, um, but let's get on to what today's video will be. So, today's video, um, I actually did think of this by myself, I, I might have got a, a little, a little inspiration, um, um, so, I basically came up with the idea, though, I mean, guess i have seen a few other people do, do, doing this challenge but yeah people did this many months ago um but i just kind of want to do it because i was like oh that'd be fun and i don't have any video ideas and if i don't film this video i won't have another video even to film for another month so that's kind of why i am also doing this challenge but let's get on to the rules of today's challenge so, you guys probably know the challenge by the title of this video, but it is only eating food from 7-Eleven for 24 hours. So, this is how this challenge is going to work. So, I'm going to get three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I have to get three things each meal, and I'm going to be going there three times. Because I was going to get everything at once, but, like, it's just kind of cooler to go at different times for each meal. And that way I don't have to carry a bunch of things. And I could just be like, hey, yo, ba back again, 7-Eleven worker. And stuff like that. So, three things, three meals. So, I have to get two food things, two, two food items. And I have to get one drink item. So two food items and one drink item. And a drink could be like a Slurpee or hot chocolate. Oh, I could get a hot chocolate for breakfast. Well, for the drink. Oh. See, ideas just popping into my head. I have no clue what I'm even going to get. So we will see when I am there. Um, but yeah, three things, two things to eat. One thing to drink, three meals, and um. so here's the thing. So I have to eat and drink everything for each meal. So say I get like, let's say lunch, I get a Slurpee, I don't even know if this is what I'm going to be getting. So say I get a Slurpee pizza, which they have absolutely bad pizza, and by the way, this is not a sponsor for 7-Eleven. So Slurpee, pizza, and say like gummy worms or something. I would, I'll have to eat the whole like slice of pizza, drink the whole Slurpee, and I will have to eat the whole bag of gummy worms. So I have to eat every single thing that I get, each individual thing in every single bag that I get. So those are kind of the rules. It is 10.15 right now. And I am going to head to, to breakfast. Um, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Okay, guys, so we're here at 7-Eleven. I look really tired for some reason, but my mom's friend is here too. Came at the same exact time, but kind of got two things right here. Kind of saw some of that. And I'm getting my drink right now. But, yeah, drink. So I'm getting some other ideas for lunch and dinner, but... um. So for the drink, obviously, I'm getting the smallest size because no way I'm getting that. So funny how we see uh, my mom's friend here, but I got all my stuff and I'll see you guys at home. Okay, guys, I know I said I'll see you at home, but we just got out of there and the total was only $4.49. Not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be like $7. Um, but right as I walked in there, I knew what I wanted to get. I had some other things on my mind. But got some different stuff, and now I will see you guys at home. Okay, guys, I just got back home, and, well, let me show you what I got. 
Okay, so I will start off with one of the food items. So, I mean, I walked in there thinking I was going to get like donut or something. But no, I didn't. I walked in, saw these things almost right next to each other. The first thing is strawberry Nutri-Grain bar. Um, I love Nutri-Grain bars and I mean, it's just tiny too. So I'm not gonna be like throwing up or something at the end of this video. Hopefully that is not foreshadowing. Um, I mean, I love these things. I've had them so many times. Let me just take a bite. Still good. Mm. And I said the total was $4.49, but it was actually $4.79, two cents cheaper. So I'm gonna take a bite of everything then. Show a montage of everything, I guess. Okay, so what I got for the drink was hot chocolate. Got the small size, of course, because I'm not gonna get the humongous one that they had, which was 229. This was 129, but I'm not getting a massive thing because I, wait, no, good, good thing. I could have gotten the other one because I totally didn't say I, I have to eat and drink everything. So I have to eat and drink everything. Okay, well, I do, but because I have to drink this whole thing. So yeah, let me take a sip and not spill this all over my room. The reason I'm doing this in my room is because my family's downstairs, aka four people and a big fat 90 pound dog, so. I, I got none of it. Is it that far down? Oh my. Seven Eleven, your food and drinks are really good. That is a good and cheap hot chocolate. Um, th that's really good. Last thing I have, pop tarts. Um, there's two, which that kind of sucks. And this is gonna be a, kind of a lot to eat, but two frosted strawberry pop tarts. I mean, all the stuff I got. I love them, and I love every strawberry, nutri grain, and pop tart stuff. But if I can get this, oh, nothing. Yeah, we literally saw my mom's from there. Like, oh yes, baby. Oh, I'm gonna regret this in a few hours when I have to eat lunch. But oh yeah. Oh, look at all that inside of it. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Mm. Where is the sound coming from? Mm. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Um, well, I'm just gonna eat my Nutri-Grain Bar Pop-Torts and drink my hot chocolate. And next time I see you normal time, we'll Honestly, I don't even know. It could be at lunch, could be before lunch, I don't know. But let's eat this stuff. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Okay, guys, just a little update. It is 2.30 now. Um, the reason why I didn't have lunch at 12 was because, you know, people usually have lunch around 12 or 1 o'clock. But the reason I didn't get lunch at 12 or 1 o'clock is because, well, I went to get breakfast at 1045 and started eating it at 11 o'clock. And I was already, like, really full. And it was, like, an hour or two. I really didn't want to eat another meal. And then I would literally wait, like, six hours until dinner. So I'm going to be going to get lunch soon. Um, that was kind of awkward there. But, so probably I'll be there in the next half hour. Um... 
and then dinner will probably be at like 6 30 but um yeah i will see you guys either in the car but most likely at 7-eleven for lunch and my late lunch at three but yeah i'll see you guys at 7-eleven for lunch okay guys we got some chips and now i'm getting my slurpee Okay guys, we got the Slurpee and I will see you guys back at home because we got one food thing, got the Slurpee, again, one more thing, and then I'll see you guys at home. And I am back from 7-Eleven for lunch. So something kind of happened when we were there. So first of all, you guys saw I got my Slurpee. Taste test this. Good Slurpee like always. Got the small one because... I have to eat everything. And then one thing I also got was these kettle original chips. Um, the kettle cooked chips, potato chips. And these are always good no matter where you get them from. Um, so good. Mmm. So I also got those chips and then this is something I really didn't want to get. 7-Eleven pizza. As everybody knows, 7-Eleven's pizza sits under the heat lamps for four days until someone gets it. At least four days. But there was someone in front of us, the person like that was just getting their stuff got beer and it came with two free slices of pizza and they try to pass it to the person behind them they didn't want it so they passed it to us and we got two slices but I was already kind of planning to get the pizza because right as we like almost walked in they brought out a fresh pizza so we were going to get it and well we were looking at it and then we got the two free slices of the pizza so now we're stuck with two slices of pizza but i'm only eating one because we're gonna get one anyway um so i only eat cheese pizza and they only add pepperoni i'm peeling off this pepperoni um okay so this looks good and all there are chunks of pepperoni, and this is very soggy. Um, I thought this was gonna be good. This is... All I wanted was cheese pizza, and I always take off pepperonis for my pizza. Oh, okay, well, without further ado, let's take a bite. I'm kind of scared now. <coughs> oh. mm. <coughs> oh my. Mm. I don't know what type of sauce that is. But it was like cold and wet. Mm. There's saws on my face. <coughs> Ooh, cut this. Oh my gosh, give me some of these chips. Mm. Mm. bite but it was wet the, the sauce was wet okay this it looks good but it's like like i could taste that it's fresh but like To 
Did they put freaking... Did they put on... There's onions in this. Guys, I'm a very picky eater. And I get very certain things in... Ew, there's like vegetables in here. Oh my gosh. Um, there's literally onions in this, but... I mean... Mm. That's just not good. Like, it's fresh pizza, but it's not good. Mm. Uh -huh. Like, if you guys have ever had 7-Eleven pizza, you know what the crust tastes like? <laughs> that just tastes like 7-Eleven pizza crust. Mmm. So maybe it was ruined because I had high expectations for it. But, like, this is just not good. Mm. Um, I, I have to eat all this. Now that I've tried everything, cue the montage. here for dinner final meal got a little something right here um but yeah like i could get lemonade or something but that's kind of like big so honestly i have no clue okay guys so we just got out there one thing i got was ice cream sandwich really we're all good <laughs> to eat that ice cream sandwich fast because it was melting now next thing we got chocolate milk challenge and dinner some regular original pringles cue mm. the montage This is where the video gets a little bit confusing now because I just got a haircut and look totally different. Well, because this is a different day, it's dark outside again. Um, but that 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 was a few days ago that I did that. Um, today is Monday and that was Saturday. Um, to be honest, two or three Saturdays ago, I've been a little lazy. I edited most of this video and then just the last like few minutes I didn't so I just edited that now but here's where it gets confusing um sort of Drew just he he fell asleep he he fell asleep so he must not have been able to like eat the food I'm assuming so he he well no other way to say it he failed this challenge i gotta give him props though because he ate breakfast and lunch and woo -wee, it's almost like i was there eating that pizza because i wasn't i'm i'm the editor for two different people 
So he did finish two out of the three meals. Um, he did have the ice cream sandwich for dinner and had some of the Pringles for dinner. Um, and the chocolate milk. He finished. I'm almost like I was there again. But, um, yeah, so he failed this challenge. He just fell asleep. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, go down make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe, turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Um, and I will see you guys next video, I guess. Peace.